Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Jason LeDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants, and this is Geeks Are Sexy. Every fourth Friday of the month, I take over for Michelle Davis and talk about Las Vegas businesses and how to be successful with your business and your life here in Las Vegas. we got a great bunch of guests for you today. Uh, later on, we're going to have Shamara Walker from SWHR Consulting coming on, and Bianca Vallejo from Green Valley Smiles Dentistry is going to be on. But first, we've got Dana Berg. She's a Proctor Gallagher Consultant. She's going to tell us all about what she does. I've got my red, white, and blue on because of Memorial Day weekend. We're going to have a beautiful weekend here in Las Vegas. Dana, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here Thank today. Thank you so much, Jason. I really appreciate you having me here. So you have a very uh, widely varied background. You spent a little time in the Army. You've done some things in real estate. Tell us how you came to Las Vegas. Tell Tell us how you got to where you are today. Well, I came to Las Vegas almost 18 years ago. Um, we moved here. Uh, my ex-husband got a job down here. Absolutely love it here. But you're right. I have a varied background. I've been in the military. I Thank you for your service, by the way. Thank you very much as well. And as well, I've been a nurse for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. And I've been helping people all my life. And that's how I got into the self-development industry and helping people to change their lives. Excellent. And so you are in self-development. You're helping people with their mindsets and helping people achieve their goals through developing healthy mindsets, if yes. I understand what you're doing correctly. How is that varied experience, how that, that path you took that story, how does that help you with helping your clients get to where they want to go? Well, truly, when you live in different places, when you experience so many different things, you get uh, a real wide range of, of having to adapt, right? Okay. Having to adapt to certain situations, different people, and it's truly helped me to, to understand others in different cultures, different situations. Mm -hmm. But we're all people. We all need help in certain ways. We all think, right? We all exist together as one. Well. We do. We do all need help in certain ways. And I think a lot of us, especially in the business world, as, as new small business owners, we feel like we need to have it all figured out. Right. And really the best thing we can do, whether we're a small business owner or working for a larger company, or even just in our own personal lives, is one, recognize that it's, that everyone needs help. We're not alone out there. And it, and it's okay to ask for help. We need to go find someone. I was listening to a podcast on the way up here I, last night with my niece's high school graduation in Phoenix. So I drove down there yesterday, and then first thing this morning I drove back so I could be here today. And I was listening to a podcast on the way up here, and uh, we were they were talking about on this podcast how just because you're going through something for the first time doesn't mean that thousands of people haven't already been through it. So so right. leverage your resources and find someone who's been through and can help you with things. So you are a Proctor Gallagher consultant. Yes, yes. And I had never heard of that until the first time that you and I sat down a couple weeks ago. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what a Proctor Gallagher consultant does? Okay, well Proctor Gallagher is Bob Proctor and Sandra Gallagher. And Bob Proctor, as many of you may know, has been in the self-development industry for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, the man learned from Napoleon Hill and Earl Nightingale. He and his partner have created an amazing program, Thinking Into Results. Okay. And Thinking Into Results, what it does is it's it's a complete success program. So it doesn't matter what you're going through in life, mm -hmm. where you want to be, it helps you to get there. It's truly a success system because okay. success is a system, but it helps you to, to retrain your thoughts, okay? Because okay. how we think will determine what we do. Okay? Now, success success is defined differently by everybody. Is that part of what you do in Proctor Gallagher? Is help people find their definitions of success? Are there are there guidelines for what success is? Tell us a little more about what success is in your view. Well, success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal or goal. Okay. So success is defined by whatever you think it is, whatever okay. is important to you and figuring out what your worthy goal is. That's really great because one of the things that whenever I work with clients or speak or work with, with kids, I always talk about I, what I talk about is success is bringing about the the good you want to bring in the world. Right. It's not it's not necessarily money. It's not necessarily cars. It's not it's not necessarily having a successful business. It right. you know sometimes success is being a, a great dad and a great husband to somebody, that's and right. and if I can help someone do that or you can help someone do that, that's that's an even higher calling than helping somebody make a lot of money. I think right. Absolutely, I agree. So tell us a little about what you provide your clients. We talked about a little bit what the what the focus of the system is and 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 what we're after. But how do you provide provide your clients that help to get to that that success. Okay, so what I do is I facilitate the program. The program is a six month 
program to get through. It actually takes you that long to go through every okay. single one of the modules. Okay. And a repetition is key. We go over things over and over and over okay. again so that you can help retrain your retain your thinking, okay, to have okay. that success. And I every step of the way, every week I meet with my clients, whether on the phone, online, and we go through it. How are you doing? What's going on? And help reinforce them or accountability with them as well. Okay. Yeah. So so if I understand the program right, there's a little bit of we getting started orientation, a little bit of goal setting. Here's yes. you know, a little preparation of the battlefield, as we used to say in the Air Force. And then you're jumping right into lesson one. And then there's a whole series of lessons, and there's some progress checks, I assume. And you're going to come back, and, and something down in lesson four might tie back, hey, remember that stuff we did in lesson one that we told you to pay attention? to we're going to come back to that kind of thing all the lessons are intertwined okay, they all great. relate to the, the the first the last they all relate together and truly it's six months to get through it but just as a diet or exercise you don't just exercise for six months mm -hmm. and then stop and decide that you're healthy mm -hmm. you know you're going to continue on you learn from the material okay. and you keep studying it and you keep learning it and applying it to your life so how does how does one of your clients after they get to the end of six months how do how do they how do you help them maintain that accountability for for sticking to what they learn because we all know it takes anywhere between you know the numbers vary uh, I'll go by myself it takes me anywhere between 60 and, and 90 days to build a good habit right bad habits I'll pick up like that because I'm human like everybody else but to build a good you know they, they say some people are as short as 20 days it could be as much as 120 days yeah. but it takes time to build good habits what what comes after the six months with your client well, I encourage them to continue it. They mm -hmm. have lifetime access to the program. Okay. Lifetime access to the program or the physical actual books. And I truly continue with them. I will say, you know, if you need help, keep going. Mm -hmm. But they've developed habits at that point from going through the program and watching the lessons twice a day. And so I encourage them to start a new habit every month. Okay. Start a good new habit every month. So in this program, there are two video lessons to watch every day. Yes, you actually okay. go through the same, you'll take two weeks on each lesson and okay. you'll watch that same thing twice a day. Okay, okay. Twice a day, repetition. Okay. So there's some repetition to it. It's not, yeah. you're not trying to absorb new material every day, it's right. reinforcement. Got reinforcement, it. reinforcement. So just as my mentor, Bob Proctor, he's actually been studying and reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill mm -hmm. every single day since 1961. He wow. reads a part of that book every single day. That's really day. great. That's so, really great. It's yeah. it's important to have those touchstones. I don't think I have a book or something like that that I go to every day, but it's important to have those touchstones in our mm -hmm. lives, something to, to go back to and ground us. I think that's great that he, not not only does he put this into his program, but he actually practices what he preaches. Absolutely. Very and that's cool. part of it. You have to continue to do Very that. Cool. He's an amazing, amazing individual. Well, tell us a little about who your ideal client is. Who are you really trying to help out there in the community? Honestly, everybody because everybody can use this material. This stuff should be taught in schools, and it's truly one of my dreams to get this out to the schools and teach children okay. that, that they can do anything they want and to have that mindset. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Can you tell us about a specific example? When, you know, Let's leave the names out to protect the innocent, but yeah. <laughs> can you tell us about a specific example where you helped the client with this program? Absolutely, you know, a lot of people base things off of, of money, and one of my clients actually, in five weeks, earned what she, had earned in the last year, you know, just by changing her mindset, setting her goals, and being very specific about what she wanted to do. That, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, I can tell from personal experience running a business, you have, you know, it's slow in the beginning, and, and every time you go, hey, you know, but you have these little victories of, you know, I did I did a little better this month than I did the two months better than that, and that feels really good. And then and then the important thing is to stick with what you're doing, yes, right? To, to go back and reinforcement, and not, not celebrate and then, you know, let it all go. So that's right. great, and I love that there's so much reinforcement in this program. Yeah. So we've got just about a minute left. Please tell us, please tell our viewers how you can, how they can get in touch with you. We've got a couple of viewers on the Facebook Live who are putting in some, some, uh, some wonderful comments. So. Fantastic, thank you. Yes, you can reach me on Facebook. Um, my Facebook business page is Life in Balance by Dana Berg, or you can just reach out to my personal page as well. And my website is DanaBerg.com. Okay, and you are on LinkedIn as well. Yes. That's how. That's how we 
well, we connected through Katie Watford, who yes. was a guest last month, but we found you on uh, LinkedIn as well. And yeah. so Dana's out there on all the social media. I'm Jason LaDuke. This is Geeks Are Sexy. Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. And we will be right back with Shamara Walker from SWHR Consulting and learning how and why, as a small business owner, you should be thinking about your human resources, even if you don't have anybody working for you right now. We'll be right back. Thank you.